What's up guys, it's Jordan. Today's next to my Pokemon Top 5s. This is Top 5 Ice Types. Almost there guys. This type, and there's only one other type. You can probably guess what that is now. <laughs> I thought I'd save that one to last. Of course, two things to note before we get started. One, this list will not include legendaries. I plan on making a list in the future just for them. It's so unfortunate because I absolutely love Articuno, and I would love to have it in this list. Oh well. And secondly, this list is based on my personal favourites. It's impossible to list the best because everyone has different opinions. So if you don't agree with my top five, make sure you let me know yours in the comment section below. And of course, make sure you hit that like button because you know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So, no honorable mentions. Articuno, you know, I can't really say Articuno because it's, it's a legend. But, no honorable mentions. Let's move on to our countdown. This is top five ice types. Coming in the number 5 spot, we've got Lapras. Lapras is an amazing Pokemon that I've loved since it came out in Gen 1. I loved it when they used Lapras in the anime. It was the Pokemon they used on the Orange Islands to get around. Because when the Orange Islands came out, it's like, it's all these different islands. How are they going to get around? Well, get Lapras. Okay. And I love in Gen 6, in a Pokemon X and Y, when you surf, it looks like the normal surf sprite. And then you can use Lapras. I remember, I didn't know what happens if you surf on a Lapras. If you don't know what happens, you actually can ride on Lapras. It's absolutely amazing. I don't think they... They didn't do it in um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, did they? I don't know. I haven't used Lapras in either of those games yet. I should really want to try that out now. But I know in X and Y, you can ride Lapras. It was awesome. That's not the only reason I like Lapras. I just like Lapras. Water and Ice is always a typing that I've loved. It just goes well together. I love its moves. Perish Song is a great move that I love. And I, when I was using a, a Pokemon Y that I was playing, that's when I found out about how you could ride Lapras. I remember, like, Lapras knew Perish Song, and because it was a Wonder Lock, that's how I got Lapras. But... Okay, I kind of cheated because you get Lapras in the game and I really wanted to use the Lapras. So <laughs> I decided to use the Lapras and not want to trade it off, which was cheating. But my game, I'll do what I want with it. <laughs> yeah, I loved using Perish Song against Pokemon and then just switch out. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dick. It was funny. I named my Lapras Vanessa because it's like, it's a Loch Ness monster. That's what I'm pretty sure they were basing um, Lapras off of. And I couldn't, I was going to call it like Ness, but... It was a female, so I was like, I can't call it Ness. And I was like, Ness, Nessa, Nessa, Van Vanessa, I don't name it, Vanessa. Uh, rest in peace, Vanessa. Oh, it died. That, that, that really sucked. I, probably one of the most heartbreaking deaths in all of my Wonderlock that I did. Oh, Vanessa. But then I guess it was kind of karma because I, I shouldn't have really been using Vanessa. It lasted a couple of gyms that I got through while I had Vanessa on my team, but then yeah, she died. Lapras, I just love Lapras. Great moves, great design. I think it's a really beautiful Pokemon. I really like it. So, yeah, Lapras is in the number five spot. Coming in the number four spot, we've got a Bomber Snow. Now, I'm pretty sure I used a Bomber Snow in my top five grass types. Now, a Bomber Snow is just a really cool Pokemon. I haven't used a whole lot, but I just, I love the design of it. I love it how it's grass ice, which is really not that strong of a typing. But it's a cool, I like unique typings, even if they're not that strong. I just like Pokemon with unique typings. So, Snowbird and Obama Snow just appealed to me straight away. It has some great moves, like being able to use the grass moves and the ice moves. It's really cool. I love the design of it. And I love its shiny form. Bits on it that's green turn blue. And I think that's awesome, like the blue and white look. There's not much more to say about Obama Snow. It's just been a Pokemon that, you know, there's those Pokemon that just, you're drawn to when you see them. It's like the new lion Pokemon in um, Sun and Moon. Will, will probably be just mostly Sun, but that Lion Pokemon, holy shit! It was like I saw that, and it was like I want it. I want the game now. I want that Pokemon. It was like that with Obama Snow. Probably not as much as when I saw the Lion, but I mean, you, I saw Obama Snow, and I was like, this is a really cool Pokemon, and yeah, I I just like it. I just really like Obama Snow. So Obama Snow is in the number four spot. Coming in the number three spot, we have Frostlass. Frostlass is so awesome. I'm pretty sure Frostlass was in my top five ghost types. I'm pretty sure. Because I used Frostlass in my run-through of Omega Ruby. And I haven't reset that game because that's like my main game. But I remember when you first Wally and you can get the uh, Dawnstone from Wally. I was planning on using it on my Curlier to evolve into Gallade. But then the last second I was like, you know what? I just got a snow run. It's female. I'm going to make it Frostlass. That's so what I did. Yeah, I named it Elsa because Elsa was too common of a name to use. I don't know, I just wanted, I thought Elza was cool, so I named it Elza. Um, but it was an awesome Pokemon. Great moves. I think the design's awesome. I love ghost types. So, the ice ghost typing, there's not a whole lot of ice ghost types, and I just, it was drawn to me. I just loved it. So, 
Frostlass is in the number three spot. Coming in the number two spot, we got Mamoswine. Mamoswine is such a beast. He's so huge. He's just awesome. I love its ice ground type. Or was it ground ice? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's ice ground. I loved Swine Up and Pilo Swine back when they came out in Gen 2. But I didn't use them a whole lot. But I still liked them. And then when Gen 4 came out, and it was just... It's funny, I just realized three, I've used three Gen 4 Pokemon in a row. I only just realized that. When all the evolutions came out, I just loved Mamoswine. I just thought it was an amazing design because one thing I didn't really like about Pilo Swine was that you couldn't see his eyes. Like, I think in the anime, like, it comes up and, like, you can see his eyes every now and then. But I just, it, I didn't like not being able to see his eyes. And then when Mamoswine came out, I was like, yep, his eyes are right there. <laughs> you can see it. And it was huge. And the big tusks then, I was just like, this is so amazing. I used, like, I didn't use Swan and Pilo Swan a lot, but then when Mamoswine came out, I was like, yeah, I'm using Mamoswine. And then recently I was doing Soul Silver, and I ended up getting a Swan Up, then Pilo Swan, and now it's Mamoswine. Um, it was just awesome. It was one of my best Pokemon on my team. I named it Brick. I don't know. Maybe because when he hits you, it's like getting the brick thrown at you. I don't know. It just, I thought Brick was a cool name, and it was just huge and just awesome and god i need some pokemon to teach earthquake too <laughs> so why not an ice ground type like mamoswine mamoswine was just awesome i absolutely love mamoswine mamoswine is in the number two spot coming in the number one spot we got weavile weavile you have seen before pretty sure top five dark types was holy shit i just sorry just realized like, i joked in the last one just briefly saying i did three uh gen four pokemon in a row I've done four Gen 4 Pokemon in a row. Holy shit, I love Gen 4 Ice types. Bloody hell. Oh, that's funny. That is actually really funny. Four out of the five Pokemon on this list in a row are Gen 4 Pokemon. Hey, I love Gen 4, and Gen 4 had a lot of cool evolution to older Pokemon, which was awesome. Weaver was just amazing. I love Dark types. I plan on making a top five typings in the future possibly, and yeah, I don't want to ruin what my favorite types are, but I'm pretty sure it'd be in the top three dark types, I just, I like dark Pokemon, I just, they have, they always have awesome designs, and awesome moves, I love dark type Pokemon, actually, just briefly, I just want to quickly say, because I was only thinking about this uh, the other day, at the time of filming this, I don't know when this is going to come out, but at this time of filming, the dark ride, this distribution is happening i couldn't get that word out there it's funny so i looked up dark Rai and i was like hang on dark is just dark like dark Rai, dark type but i mean i thought dark Rai was like dark ghost for some reason i don't know why it just it gave me a ghostly look to it i thought it was easily gonna be dark ghost but then it was like just dark type and i was like all right i should have known it was only dark type but it just i don't know <laughs> Well, it wasn't like I used Darkrai a whole heap. But anyway, yeah, moving back, because I'm not even supposed to be talking about Legendary Pokemon, and it's not even a bloody ice type. Going back to Weavile, just, I love its design. It's just, it's got a cool color scheme to it. It's so small and just but fast. It was a really fast Pokemon. I used it in my first run through of Alpha Sapphire, because I've said it before, I've said it plenty of times, I've probably said it when I mentioned Weavile last time. In Alpha Sapphire, when I first played it, I wanted to use one Pokemon from each generation that I hadn't used before. So I grabbed Sneasel, which wasn't my Gen 2 Pokemon. I had another Gen 2 Pokemon. I used uh, Fanfi and Donphan. But I got Sneasel because it, I knew it was going to be a Weavile. And Weavile was just awesome. Um, I can't remember um, the moves new or the... Uh, I can't remember a whole lot about it. But I, all I know is that it was an awesome Pokemon on my team. And ever since then, I just, I've loved Weavile. Like, I'd loved Weavile before I used it. And that's why I used it in my Alpha Sapphire run through because I hadn't used like a Weavile a whole lot, but I still liked it. So when I played an Alpha Sapphire, man, yeah, others loved it even more. Weavile is amazing. I fucking love Weavile. Weavile is in the number one spot and my favorite ice type Pokemon. Well, there you go, guys. That's my top five ice type Pokemon. One type to go, guys. You know what that is. Thank you for watching, guys. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you saw this video and you liked it, you're not subscribed to me, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in my final Pokemon Top 5 for typings. i got to say that because there's going to be more. Don't worry. Eventually. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.